Okay, so today I have bought myself a gamer chair. Um, been looking for a while online um, for a decent one, and I actually had quite a big budget because um, I was thinking I'd have to spend somewhere in the region of sort of 150 to 200 pounds to get something decent. But then I saw this on Argos, 65 quid, really, really good reviews, and I thought, Do you know what, I'm just going to give it a go. So picked it up earlier today. Um, haven't opened it yet, as you can see. I'm going to do that now. So let's uh, see what we've got. Right, I have to go careful because I don't want to um, damage anything. It's really heavy as well. and pieces. Let's put this out of the way. So it's got a little instruction booklet. Um, oh, this is stuck to it. Oh right, that's attached to there. Let me just um, cut that out. So this is all the nuts and bolts. Right, this is going to be fun trying to put this together. Absolutely hopeless at DIY. Put that out of the way. More card. Well, it's very well packed. Right, so we've got a couple of uh, chair arms. Um, right, oh, here we go. Let me try and get the loose bits out first. I don't know what's in there. Okay, so that's the wheels. It's oh, the base. Okay, that looks like the lever down there, but it's kind of sealed in right. So this, this is the back of the chair, it's quite solid, but I've got black and red to match my uh, match my laptop. I did really want a pink one, but I just thought it won't really go in our room very well. I thought at least black and red is a little bit more stylish. That's the C. Do you know, one review actually said um, it was a bit narrow, but to me that looks... That doesn't look narrow to me. Maybe they were on the bigger side. Um, and we've got... Okay, so this is like the mechanism part. God. I really hope I can put this together. Okay, so... Everything out of the box, yes, that's everything out of the box. So let me just put the box out of the way. Now this is the fun part where you get to watch me get very confused. Okay, um, review time. 
So I've just come off the back of quite a long gaming session. So while I'm sitting here in the chair, I thought I would just pop on and just tell you what I think. So I've had this chair for just over a week. Um, so it's had a good old test. Pros and cons. Um, the biggest pro obviously is the price. So for £65, that is that is good. I mean, I was I was looking at spending around 200 or more. So £65 for a decent gaming chair, unbeatable price. Comfort, um, I personally find it very comfortable. I get really bad sciatic pain and I was really suffering with it when I was using another chair. I haven't had it, touch wood, I haven't had it since I've been using this chair. So clearly it's it's given me the support that I need. And my stomach is rumbling, so I need I need some lunch. But anyway, let's carry on. Um, hopefully the camera didn't pick that up, we'll see. And the last thing, which for me is a pro, but it might be a con for some people, is the size. Compared to a lot of other gaming chairs that are available, it is quite compact. I found that a good thing because I'm working with quite limited space you can probably see this little corner that i'm in this is my gaming corner um i haven't got a huge amount of room so i didn't want a great big chair that would take up half the bedroom i wanted something quite compact that i could kind of tuck out of the way when i wasn't using it so for me the compact size is perfect um on the other hand if you are, we're going into the cons now, if you're on the bigger side or if you're someone that tends to game for hours and hours at a stretch, I tend to do anything between two to four hours at a stretch and then I'll have a break. I know some people game for a lot longer than that. So if you're someone that games for a long, long stretch or if you're on the bigger side, um, you might find the small size not as comfortable um it's it's comfortable enough but the seat compared to a lot of other gaming chairs that i tried out the seat is um is a little bit more narrow so you can't kind of you know spread yourself out and slouch and you know the chair's not really big enough to do that um but i don't find it a problem um i need to take the tag off actually um what were the other cons? Um, the only other one really that I can think of um, was that it was a pain in the bum to put it together. I really, really struggled and it's definitely a two man job. But that's just me. It might have just been my lack of skills that made it impossible for me to put it together. But with the help of a friend, we did get there. We got there. We got it put together. I've been using it for over a week. It hasn't fallen apart. So... You know, it, it's fine. But that's it, really. So definitely more pros than cons. For £65, if you're on a bit of a budget and you, especially if you are a bit limited for space and you don't want a great big chunky chair, I would definitely recommend this. Um, yeah, I, I'm definitely going to keep this chair. Um, but that's just my opinion. So there you go. That's review done. I'm going to go and have some lunch and I hope you enjoyed this uh, unboxing and review. Bye for now. Brilliant.